We're going to take a look at the Triad trading system uh, today. This particular trading system runs off the theory that markets basically move in three ways. They trend, counter trend, or move sideways, and they break out. Now it doesn't take uh, it doesn't take too much to take a look at this chart and to see that we you know have a nice trend here. We have uh, an area that uh, just moves sideways, and we also have breakouts that occur. We've had a breakout that occurred there. We, if you find some other areas of consolidation, like here, we broke out to the downside. There there are areas basically that happen where we have breakouts, we have counter trend, and we also have trends. Now, most people trade one trading system, maybe two. But if you're trading three distinct trading systems, one trend, one counter trend, and one breakout system, you're able to be in the market more and actually make more money long term uh, by being in the market more and making money uh, in say a counter trend system when you're typically losing money in your trend system. And you can also trade all three systems on one account because they're non-correlated. And what I mean by that is when you're winning in one, you probably will be losing in the other, but for the most part, you won't be losing in all three systems all at once. So you can trade three systems on the, the same amount of money that you would just trade one system on. Now, my, the, my big question is, you know, when you look at a chart like this, do you know exactly where to uh, place your buy and sell orders? Or, you know, when you're looking at this chart, where would be a good place for a breakout to occur? You know, it, you may find that you see some support here in the market and that you, you know it's going to break to the, you know, break lower or you think it's going to break lower. And so, uh, you know, you, you definitely are looking for that. Now, where would you enter? Would you enter at this point? You know, would you enter here or would you enter here? Where where on this chart would you enter? You know, same thing with uh, with some of the other areas that we have here. You know, if you caught this breakout to the upside, where would you enter? Would you enter, you know, at these two lower points or at the higher point? You know, where would you enter is a good question uh, for all trading systems. But, you know, for a breakout system, where would a good place be? Well, we have the target breakout system that helps to identify that. Uh, and as you can see from here, from this chart, we have a few breakouts that have been identified, some profitable, some not. Now this one, obviously we broke down to the downside, but it didn't, didn't close down. You know, this one closed up, this one closed up, this one looks like it closed at about even. Here we broke to the upside. Here, here's another one that broke down. So this, the target breakout system really helps you to identify, takes the guesswork out of, okay, where do I, where, where do I get in? Where do I place my stops? And it, it helps, helps you identify those areas. Now, if you're looking to trade a counter trend system, you know, most people don't trade counter trends because they don't know when to get in the market. It's, uh, they consider it more risky. You know, where do I place my stops? If the market surges up as it did on this particular bar, you know, when do I get in? The, do I get in here at the tops of the previous bars or do I wait a little bit longer? Well, we have a system called the squish squash system and this, this system helps you to identify when is the best place to get in and when is the best place to get out, when to buy and sell in a sideways market because Really, the market's only going to move one of three ways. It's either going to trend, counter trend, or break out. And it's going to do that, uh, you know, it's only going to trend about a third of the time. So you either have the choice to sell on the sidelines during, those, during the other times waiting for a trend, or you can, you know, be actively trading when, when there's not a trend. But the squish squash system helps you to identify uh, the best spots to get in. And, of course, not every system, not every trade is going to be a winning trade. But is what this helps you do is locate areas uh, where you know you have the highest probability of a trade uh, going in your favor, and you know is what happens is as the market moves sideways, you get these beautiful little zigzag patterns that you can profit from uh, with the squish squash system. And typically, when the market's moving 
against you in your trend trade because you know the market moves just high enough to get you in and maybe you make a few pips and then it pulls back hopefully you get you know you get at least one day up so you can move your stop to break even before it pulls back against you well you know if you're making money or if you're losing money or just breaking even during that time the squish squash system can really help you to profit during during these sideways markets that we see that you know occur most of the time now what most people do trade are trend trend systems and that's where the trend finder system comes in into play and you know the big th question on trends is when do i get in you know we have this nice move that occurred uh here in the pound us dollar but when's a good time to get in you know the market went down pulled back went down pulled back it did that several times before it just really started taking off so you know where do i get into the market do i get into it here do i sell short here you know do i wait here or do i wait for this low and if you go back in the chart history there's you know more places to sell short than that that, that may be really good places to sell short um, you know, a break below this low may have been a really good place. It would have been a good place to go ahead and sell short, maybe put your stop above here at this point. But, you know, to know exactly when to get in uh, to a trade and when to get out is definitely a, a good thing. And that's where the trend finder uh, indicators and, and system come in. They really help you to identify those times when it's, you know, when is the best time to get into the market and when is the best time to get out. So, you know, you may not always make money. There are going to be trades where you don't make money. But overall, you know, long term, if you're trading three systems, three profitable, individually profitable systems together that are non-correlated, you're going to make more money overall. So if you'd like to learn more about the triad trading system, go to the triadformula.com. So until next time, this is Jason Filder. Good trading.